So, you borrow money from a lender to buy some asset. Of course, you leave a collateral. Then, your lender pays a premium to the one who liquidates you. And most often, that is your lender. Sometimes you are the main target and sometimes your liquidation is a aid in the effort to liquidate a much bigger target. Even though no one enjoys being liquidated, it's essential that people do get liquidated in order to make the market and protect the protocol from insolvency. My job as the liquidator is to protect the protocol by closing your position. I have made a profit, you have been liquidated and your position is closed. And the protocol itself has been protected from bad debt. Said Nathan Versley, a liquidator for Bloomberg. I gave him this robotic voice to emphasize his lack of humanity. What you have been witnessing lately, Bitcoin $18,000, Ethereum $900, Dogecoin $0.05 cents, and so on, is the result of an organized attack by lenders and liquidators. So what they do and how they do it. This system is known as predatory trading and people who carry out attacks are called sharks. You know, sharks smell blood and come to grab prey and... Eh, ugly. The way they work is basically always the same, but we will talk about this special case, which has been going on for a couple of weeks and which causes the price of Bitcoin to be constantly pushed down and thus the prices on the entire market. You've heard of the Celsius Network. It is a fintech platform that offers high interest bearing savings accounts and borrowing. You've probably heard of Dubai-based hedge fund 3 Eros Capital, known as 3AC. Both companies have become prey. And before you say, I don't care about these companies, and leave, wait, because you are prey, too. The trouble of the companies started when the stake Ether, Ether pool curve went into imbalance, which led to a slight DPEG. This caused massive sales by large investors such as Alameda Research and this further deepened DPEGing, which caused panic and additional sales by other investors. Both companies had a large amount of stake Ether. It is still unclear whether this imbalance in the pool happened organically or the pool was a attacked by the sharks. In any case, 3AC managed to dump some of its staked ether, but that did not save them from liquidation in which they lost more than $400 million. That liquidation triggered other liquidations and all that led to a drop in prices on the entire crypto market. Celsius, on the other hand, has failed to sell its staked Ether. There is not enough liquidity in the pool, but somehow still manages to avoid liquidation. However, the sharks are not giving up. They're attacking you, small investors, with the help of which they're attacking Celsius. Sharks use bots to scan blockchains and target smaller but numerous loans. These numerous loans that are liquidated cause the price of Bitcoin, which Celsius has as collateral, to fall. In fact, the collateral is wrapped Bitcoin. The more the price falls, the higher the risk for Celsius, which must either add more money as collateral or repay the debt, which is currently 224.8 million. Celsius managed to reduce the liquidation price from $60,852 per Bitcoin to $13,603 by adding collateral and paying off part of the debt. If the sharks succeed in their intention, the liquidation of 23,962 Bitcoins will cause a new collapse in the market. As you can see, this debacle of Bitcoin, Ethereum and and consequently Dogecoin and the rest of the market is not organic. This is caused by manipulation. So how do they do it? Lenders and liquidators, by opening large short positions in certain places where there are a lot of loans that are about to be liquidated, are pushing the price of Bitcoin down and thus forcibly trigger those liquidations. These liquidations cause panic and additional sales, which triggers new liquidations and leads to a huge drop in price. This predatory trading brings profit to sharks, but it does great damage to the entire crypto community. And this claim of the liquidator, who says that what they are doing is necessary because it protects the protocol from insolvency, is 
nonsense. A protocol that must be protected from insolvency by manipulating price should not exist.